every stone we find helps provide a piece of puzzle for the person who's writing their genealogy or researching their ancestors. All new for you this morning, making sure the history of Buffalo's working class is never lost. This summer, our group of volunteers is spending hours in the 15 acres that make up Buffalo's Concordia Cemetery on Walden Avenue. They are dedicated to finding and unearthing grave markers that have been buried over the years. They're working to give the cemetery new life. Surrounded by stones, elbows deep in dirt and history. When tree roots have grown over it, you know it's been down here a long time. Volunteers like Bonnie Fly Shower. Yeah, you have to be patient. <laughs> are meticulously working to unearth gravestones in Buffalo's Concordia Cemetery. They just sink over time between the freezing and the thawing and the rain. Stone is heavy, so it'll start to sink and then grass can grow right over it. They use radar to get an idea of where missing stones might be. Then we probe and you'll hear the noise. That's a stone right there. That sound means it's time to dig carefully. The stones belong to the families and the ancestors. They do not belong to the cemetery. So we have to be very careful when we're treating someone else's property. The dig. No, I'm seeing lettering. There's lettering, see? The anticipation. Born in 1819, died in 1890-something. And the reveal. There we go. All part of the process. Christine Light, L-E-I-T. Sweets, lights. Lights, L-E-I-T-Z. Wow, look at that come up. I'm hitting solid here. Many of these stones have been buried for decades now. The volunteers spend hours locating them and carefully bringing them back. Yeah, That's quite an experience, and we just out acknowledge and honor their existence. Maureen Gleason has learned the best ways to clean these unearthed stones and other markers sitting around the cemetery. It's better than staying home and doing housework. <laughs> so far this year, the volunteers have unearthed. Hello, Heinrich. Welcome back. And reset more than 60 stones. Nobody here earns a dime, and we're doing this out of just because we love this place, and it's part of our own history. This cemetery dates back to 1859. The volunteers tell me the people buried here were the working people of Buffalo, and every stone they bring up tells a story. This is a living museum. You're, you're touching a piece of history. You're, you're being able to prove to a descendant that their ancestor existed. This is part of that person's life story. We go ahead and we look up their records, we look at their census records, we try to track their families. It's our history of our city. History cannot be buried. It needs to be uncovered and exposed for all to see. And so the cemetery, always looking for volunteers. They meet depending on the weather, because they have to dig things up, right? So you can mm -hmm. keep up with the latest on the cemetery right on the Friends of Concordia Cemetery Facebook page. I linked it in our story on our website as well. That is so cool. Who are these people? Well, so there were three different churches that all buried people in that cemetery. I added a little more information about okay. that on the web as well. So it's basically three different churches, mostly German descent, but then they have found stones that were written in German, English, and then French as well. They said wow. one of the oldest stones was written in French. All the working class here in Western yeah. New York from the 1800s, that is fascinating. And really, anybody can help. You can go help them. They'll show you how to do it. You know, you're digging. You have to be really careful, yeah. but you know, they're always looking for volunteers. Very cool. Uh, well, we heard it's all dependent on weather, and today, yep. probably not the day to be out there. 